Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you how to do reverse stamping using dip powder. Ever since I posted my cactus mani, I've been getting so many questions in DMs on how to do it, so I figured I'd just make a video, and I hope that this video helps you guys and answers any questions that you might have. Now let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go in with my UNT peel off base coat and just apply it to all of my nails. Yay, shiny nails, now it's time to let the base coat dry. The dip powders I'm going to be using today are from Sparkle & Co and it is DP93 Pure French White and DP39 Hello Sailor. Now I'm going to pour my powders into cupcake liners. This step is totally optional but I think it helps me a lot since the containers are so small and usually when I dip there's overflow and so this just lets me save all of my products. Now that my powders are all nice in the cupcake liners, I'm going to start dipping. Today I'm going to be using Sparkle & Co's Base Bond and the rest of their liquids. So here I am just dipping my thumb, index, and pinky fingers into the pure French white. After I've applied the white, I'm going to apply Hello Sailor to my middle and ring fingers. These are going to be my accent nails. Oh wow, I am just totally out of frame for this one, oops. Anyways, I'm just cleaning, oh wait, no, I'm applying base bond, and then I'm dipping. Dude, this was such an awkward nail to dip, I don't know why, I just was having the hardest time dipping this nail. Finally, I'm going to be going in with Sparkling Co Solidify to activate my mani. After I've activated my mani, now it's time for filing and buffing. This is the buffer I'm using, it's one of my favorites, and it is a 220 and 280 grit. Now that everything is all nice and smooth, it's finally time to start stamping. This polish that I used was by Maniology and it was coconut. Then I'm going to use Essie's Aruba Blue. <laughs> Sorry, that took me a while. And then now we're going to be using Sally Hansen's Go For Gold. And this is one of my favorite golds to stamp with. The plates I'm going to be using today are from Maniology. Both of these plates are from the Maniacs Me subscription box from December, and if you would like to save some money on Maniology, I have a code for you to use, and it will be listed in the description. Anyways, I'm so excited to be doing marble nails. I love marble nails. In my opinion, they are totally foolproof because if you mess up, that's okay because nature is not perfect, which means that your nails aren't perfect. Anywho, I'm just going to be applying this marble design to my thumb, oh my gosh, what fingers? Pointer finger, <laughs> my bad, and pinky fingers.
now that my thumb, index, and pinky are all nice and marbly, it's time to start reverse stamping using dip powder. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to stamp the image and you need to use a similar color uh, like the dip powder that you're going to be using because it's basically like your guideline. So after you stamp it, you're going to use base bond and kind of like color it in. And that's why it's important to use a similar color because if you mess up and you miss a line, that will be totally okay because at least it'll be the same color and you won't be able to tell. So here I am basically coloring in the design I already stamped and you could use a brush for this but honestly I'm just lazy so I take my chances with the regular brush and if it doesn't get in the places that I want it to I just take a dotting tool and spread it around and as you can see I didn't get enough that time so I just got more and started coloring it in. Now, I'm still working on this technique and like perfecting it, that's why I was like, well I am a little apprehensive to post this video because I don't want to put something out there that I have not perfected yet, but I was getting a lot of questions so I figured I would just do it anyways. Another pro tip that I have is to not use super intricate designs just because it is really hard to see where you are putting the base bond and base bond dries pretty quick. So just save yourself the hassle and only use designs that are kind of big and open. Now I'm just going to solidify them and that is very important because I don't know why you wouldn't just solidify it but it, it, it won't work. Anyways, now I'm just going to stamp the rest of the image and finish everything and I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. Also another cool thing is that the gems kind of turned out 3D. Oh, yes. Also, um... Since it is dip powder, it is a little thick, and it's kind of just like, you kind of have to hope that you get it right the first try, or else you're just going to continue to get thicker and thicker. So you really just have to be patient with it and just practice. That's like my only tip. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go in with my Lee Chant, Lee Chat, I have no idea, high gloss sealer and this is my favorite top coat and it's like for professionals only but I got it off a of Groupon like 5 years ago and I've had no problems with it. So yeah, now I'm just going to cure it for 30 seconds. Once the nails are cured, I'm just going to remove the tack layer using rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. Here's the final product. I had so much fun making these nails and I can't wait to see you guys using this method. And if you do, make sure you tag me on Instagram at Emma's Nails with three M's because I am just that extra. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and stay safe and healthy. Toodles!